Brittany Ferries to Santander. We spent a great couple of days with our friends at Dogruff Engineering before heading down to Plymouth. We're leaving to go to Espana. Dogruff is saying goodbye to Wodski <laughs> Travel. Um, have a bloody good time. On, and if you like it, guys, follow them, subscribe. Good luck, have a good trip. Thanks ever so much. See, See you later, later, guys. See you later. Take a steady. <laughs>
giving it a whole tin of tuna? No, I'm giving it half a tin of tuna. Because there's another one. concerned about the dog. So he's going to see if it wants a drink of water. I think it wanted some water. It was thirsty. more confident now Steve. More confident and happier and I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I am enjoying this. The mountains of northern Spain. He won't let me drive. <laughs>
I've just woken up. We've had a fantastic sleep in this fairly new air in Montemarta. Um, Susan's just having a shower, so I'll let her get on with it. Just outside having a cup of tea in the glorious sunshine. You've got a children's play area here. Parking for four motorhomes. They're quite close together, the pitches. There's one other van that joined us last night. And that uh, little church on the on the hill there that we walked up to. Uh, quite an interesting uh, church. Uh, had a look around the graveyard at the back. Some uh, some big tombstones and things. Uh, here's your drain point and your water black water point. Yeah, really pleasant here. Sun shining, and I think in the summer months we've got. Uh, the swimming pool just over here but one interesting thing is this area here is a floodplain and in the rainy season this here is full of water people were using this last night to uh, make a shortcut from the village up to the main road i'll go and see what susan's up to and we're going to head off i think down towards zamora and then into Portugal for this evening. We've just parked in the middle of Zamora and there's a, um, a free air here right next to this park and it's quite busy I'll show you. Quite a few vans here but there's a place to empty your loo and get some fresh water so we're gonna have a walk around the town. Brought me to an old castle have you? Yes. Some interesting facts now about Zamora Castle. It's a medieval fortress built in the 10th and 11th centuries. Um, overlooking cathedral. Yeah, overlooking the cathedral and it's got a big moat all the way around it. Quite spectacular. And you can still walk around most of the castle today. Come and have a look, it's really good. And it's free. So, we're heading on the CL527. Portugal. There's not a car in sight. It's an empty road. So there's no cars. Don't know if we hit the right road. Doesn't matter, does it? No. Very nice. We've got a great view of the desert. <laughs> it's bank holiday in Spain as from tomorrow. Yeah. Spain day, everything's closed. So we're going to Portugal. Right, Steve. Let's play a game, shall we? What are we going to play? Spot the car. Spot the car, okay. Go, start. Can't see any cars, can you? See a sign that says go overtaking. Love to have the chance to overtake some bit. Oh, the motorbikes count. Normally when we're driving we play, let's spot the DHL lorry, That's let's true. spot the Amazon Prime van. Today we're playing, let's spot the car. Show them the road. <gasps> Stevie, I won, I won, I won. There's a car! Quite possibly the last Spanish village 
before entering Portugal. And the road surface is shocking. A lot of vineyards around here, though. Whoa! Check out that river! Spain? Portugal. So this, folks, is the Dura River, the natural divide between Spain and Portugal. It's stunning, isn't it? So we're going to pop over to Portugal for a few days. Go and see what it's like. Weather here is glorious. Very nice. But follow us for some time travel tips. We're going time traveling, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> We've got the flux capacitor charged up in the van and let's see where we end up. Following this river. 